Hello friends, welcome to Quantum Espresso Tutorial Series for Beginners. This is Lab 4. Today we are going to learn about uh, convergence of parameters, especially uh, kinetic energy cutoff value today, which is also known as E cut WFC. The kinetic energy cutoff means E cut uh, WFC, which determine the number of plane wave basis set uh, required to expand a wave function. The cutoff energy is mostly depend on pseudo potential. As we know that the more plane waves means more accuracy, but also take a higher comp or computational time. So we require optimum values of kinetic energy cutoff, which makes a balance between a computational cost and accuracy. The, this process is known as convergence of E cutoff. First of all, we need input file and uh, pseudo potential file. Here we want to require only output. So we need to change some parameter here. In control tab, I have to specify one command disk underscore IO is equal to norm. Actually, this command will prevent generation of other files in hard disk because I want only output file uh, after compilation. So I write uh, disk underscore IO is equal to non parameter here. Now I want to change the value of uh, kinetic energy cutoff uh, from 10 to 150. So first of all, I write E cut WFC is equal to 10 and change this value K point is equal to 2, 2, 2, 0, 0, 0. File, save as, here I choose the input file name is 10 dot in for input file and uh, choose this save as type as all files keep this in mind and then save now change change the value to 20 again file save as 20 dot in save as type all file then save then change 30 Again, file save as 30.in, save as type all file, save, repeat this uh, steps uh, up to 150. Here I have already done. Now we have input file with the e cut WFC value 10 to 150, uh, means 15. Uh, input file we have so now make one auto run dot batch file for compilation of this all file in a single click so open notepad write command pw for compilation write input file name 10 dot in write output file name 10 dot out again pw write input file name 20 dot in 20 dot out repeat this process up to 150 dot in and 150 dot out and then uh, 
go to file then save as and then here auto run dot bat for batch file and save as type is equal to all file and then click on save which i have already done here in my folder lab 4 let's look in the file okay then copy this again to our current folder lab 4.1 okay now this is done almost now open command prompt shift key then right key on uh, mouse and open command windows here okay now just type auto run dot pat and press enter okay process complete now here are the output files now open a microsoft excel now write uh, then write e cut total energy and delta e means energy difference write e cut value 10 20 30 up to 150 Now find out the total energy uh, for e cut value 10 in the output file 10 dot out here you can see the total energy with a streak mark is 41.75640992 ry copy this this is very tedious job to find out the total energy uh, from each file so uh, we have a shortcut for that uh, press shift then click on right button on a mouse and open command windows here now you have to find string which start with a strict mark from output file from all output file means I write here star dot out and copy okay then click here you can see total energy from each file 30 dot out 40 dot out 50 dot out 60 dot out 90 and so on 150 but uh, i want to copy this all uh, output into one file so again write the command find uh, search for a strict mark from output file and copy means write this all data in total energy dot txt file and press enter now look in the folder this is total energy file double click on it all data are here so now you can easily copy total energy from here to excel file now 10 dot out we already copied okay now for 20 
copy to excel file then 30 and so on so now we have all data now put zero here at 150 then is equal to sign 150 total energy for 150 and total energy for 140 Now copy this formula by drag this cell to the 10. Here you can see the difference between uh, total energy are here. Uh, from this value means uh, 0 0.0005 the difference of two consecutive total energy are very less so we can assume that uh, 110 is our optimum value uh, for total kinetic uh, sorry kinetic energy cutoff because from here energy is uh, this total energies uh, are changing very slowly so we choose this value for our uh, for our kinetic energy cutoff value or you can draw the graph of e cut versus total energy from here choose scatter graph click on this graph now right click on move chart on new so sheet you can write e cut versus total energy okay you can delete this series can format the graph change layout and the title total energy versus E cut now axis title horizontal axis title in horizontal line we have E cut value in RY Now axis title vertical total energy in RY feedback. Now click on this horizontal axis, right click on a horizontal axis, format axis and axis label at low and click OK. Now you can find out this uh, e-cut value 
R here you can choose grid line horizontal grid line non or horizontal grid line measure vertical grid line measure value here you can see that the graph is stable up to 100 means from 100 and above the graph is stable so you, uh, we can choose the 100 or 110 for convergence value of e cut thank you for watching my videos